Hello and welcome to a very sombre edition of the Western Bulldogs podcast, Barkley Street. It's, um, look, I'm upset. You're upset. He's upset. Laverne's L- upset. Laverne's <laughs> upset. <laughs> I have to go. <laughs> Front so, <footed>. all right. <laughs> So you've torn your string. It yep. was the elephant in the room for this whole season of this podcast. Was it Laverne or was it Shirley? Let's it was get Laverne. right to it. Al, Alpha left. The old Laverne Al. has uh, decided to ping um, out of nowhere. I was feeling good. Um, felt great. And I was just accelerating to compete in that marking contest. And about three or four steps before I jumped, yeah, okay. Laverne packed up shop and went home. Twing. Okay. Yep. So... Of course, I want to get to your experience of it. But, let's, but I'm not. What was your experience? <laughs> but I, talk, I want to tell you about how my, was it through your eyes? My experience. How, firstly, how are you doing? <laughs> your, are you okay? Look, yeah, going through the seven stages of grief for a friend's hamstring <laughs> is a podcast all of its own. I won't go into that much detail, but I, uh, I, I must admit, so I was watching the game and uh, I've watched you long enough, played with you enough. As soon as I saw the movement, you know, you get to know people's mm. movement. I was like, oh, no. That's not I knew. I, I felt like I knew when you knew. And then I had that sickening feeling of someone's going to tweet it. Someone's <laughs> going to tweet me. I picked my phone up. And at this stage. How long are we talking? At this stage, what? this is 20 seconds. So I'm still on the ground. You're still on the <laughs> ground. You are still on the ground. The commentators had not even thought. You've done oh, right. your hamstring at this point. Okay. I, I was watching with a mate and but we're, like, we're yeah. both like, He's done. why are they talking about if someone's done his hamstring? It's like clear. And I picked up my phone. I was like, surely no one yet has done it. picked it up. <laughs> was that Laverne or Shirley? <laughs> oh, jeez. Which, you know, is a good um, yep. advert for the Barclay Street is, podcast. But um, well, Renee. it's a bummer. It's just it's a mm. it's a real drag. So we are all feeling for you, mate. Thanks, um, mate. So yeah, what was your experience of it? You've done them before, as we know. That's yeah. kind of the <laughs> that's the joke. Yeah, not a very um, funny one today. Was it nah. a, was it a bad one? <laughs> well, th- there's 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 two bits to it. They're like there's the the positive aspect is that um, the diagnosis of the. Uh, of the injury was actually better than we were expecting, or right. particularly than I was expecting. So yeah. I was quite sore walking afterwards, which is a, not a good sign. No. Um, but uh, what the great news was from the uh, scan was that there's no tendon involvement. And as you know, that's Ooh, the, big, yeah. the big thing with hamstrings. If there's any tendon involvement, that's a, a long period on the sidelines. Um, but there's a there's a, a significant enough uh, muscle damage there, but no tendon, which is great. So we're we'll looking to come back um, after the buy. So that's four weeks. Four weeks, okay. Because yep. that's what um, in so my it can always could always be worse. I was thinking I was staring down the barrel of you know six. Well, hoping and not it was going to be eight or that we. Kind of thing. I mean, we on the outside have been a bit conditioned this year to we hear hamstring at the moment. And the old 21-day hamstring, that's like that's not a thing anymore. Yep. Someone asked me, a mate said, oh, what is he at for 10 or 12? And I was like, whoa. But that's what we've been yeah, conditioned sure. to of these, the 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 injuries have been so yep. sort of um, severe that that's been sure. the, the length of these times. And that's out. the thing, the demands of the game are so so much so now with uh, just how fast-paced and frenetic and how you have to is back it? up each week that um, it has to be a longer time. You have to be able to get... It's a combination of getting the hamstring to heal, but then get your body to a condition level yeah. to be able to so um, rehab, play the game and recover to be able to play the next game. So rehab's more intense. Much You're more. having to get yeah. more speed, more distance, yeah. and more. you get moving quicker. So I've done my hamstring on the was it Saturday? Yeah, it was Saturday, and I ran on Tuesday. And when I say run, <laughs> like run yeah. within air quotation yeah, yeah, marks, yeah. it was a very sh- small yeah, jog, but cliffy young shuffle. It's, a mat- it's not just for the hamstring; it's for conditioning your calves, glutes, everything, just to make sure that you're moving. Because the longer that old saying is never more true. You know, if you is it, use it or lose it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, oh. Always had a bit of a George Bush. <laughs> 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 Fool me once. I, look, uh- <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, <laughs> whenever I heard you use it or lose it, it was not to do with hamstrings, but I love that it's for a more medicinal uh, yes. purpose. So, um, uh, for sure. So, with the so uh, taking it back to me, <laughs> of course. So I've been out. For, I've, been, I've been out for four years. Yep. How much? How much different is it? How much? 
the game? Is it quicker? The rotations, the style the of play, does it, has does made it feel a different? significant difference? Yeah, right. In um, is that you speaking as a thirty-one-year-old? Do you feel like a young fellow? It would, would be f- different if I was twenty-five. Okay, but I still think the the demands are longer. So it's a step up. Yeah. So whereas we would normally, when when you and I were playing together, we'd always get one, maybe two rotations yep. a quarter. Yeah. Um, and particularly for the way that we both play, in with that speed and power, you need that Thank extra you. recovery. <laughs> maybe not power, definitely speed. Well, I'll take a couple while I get it. I'm <laughs> sure it'll be balanced out later in the show. But um, they they shuffle, they shuffle the rotations now, so it's only one, and sometimes for the bigger guys, it's none. So if yeah. you're um, fitter, then you'll have a, a longer run. Yep. So you could be playing for 24 minutes straight, yeah, um, or 30 minutes straight, whatever the whatever the quarter is. And the way I try to put that into context is. TV shows don't go for 30 minutes. Like, even with ads, it's over from 6.30 Even in the age seven, of streaming. We have to run. Yeah. <laughs> for 30 whole, straight. Like, yeah. sometimes it's – and that's um, – yeah, it's ballistic. Uh, it's always – I mean, it was fast when we were playing – sorry, when you were playing. Yeah. Um, but Faster I, now? I think with the man on the mark stuff, yeah. Yeah, more flow and – Yeah. Yeah, okay. It is. Uh, I don't, How much so, I, I don't know, I know, but... I know this is kind of where sort of um, shining a light in, you know, probably some, you know, the, the shadows of your of your athlete's heart to a degree. But can you take us into where you're at emotionally because having observed this world for a long mm-hmm. time and, and been a part of it for, for a bit, when you've had a series of injuries that are the same... I think it's different if this is an elbow or a shoulder Correct. or an anger. So your thing has been hamstrings and soft tissue. For sure. Is it difficult for you to separate? This is just a singular, I've got a four-week hamstring and not turn it into this is my 14th four-week hamstring and it's like a bonfire of angst and um, not trauma but... Well, yeah. So, the, like the, it's not a simple answer to that question because it's it's so, it's so laid. So, for the reasons you just explained, um, it's in isolation. It's it's one hamstring and it's and it's four weeks. Yeah. But the, uh, I suppose the positive side of me will look at that and just go, okay, this is an isolated I'll incident. That, yeah. I'll be back and I can put it in, in its box and that's what it is. But then, the the other side is going, okay, well, it's. It's actually closer. I think I'm up in the 20s now of having- Someone asked me that other. I said, would it be 10? And I said, oh, I think it would be easily yeah. 10. Is that just purely hamstrings or- Yeah. So when you so put- So I even I would have hit the 20 mark. Yep. And Sheepers. when you put that into context of like, oh, that's a- The psychological side that's of it. That's a lot. That's that's heavy and it's not- And then you add on to that now into my 30s. Yeah. And- um, early 30s, just for list early management. Early 30s. <laughs> um, and Very in particular, 30s. the way that it uh, – and, and I should I should put this with a, a precursor. These 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 thoughts that come through, it's always oh, – darkest before the dawn. It's always the worst at the start. I think yeah. to prepare myself mentally for what's coming, um, I have to catastrophize what's the worst case. I have to always go through in your head of what's, what's worst case and yeah. then you build – you build from there. And that's not saying that that worst case is what's going to happen, but you look at it the way that the unfortunately with their hamstring going just in open field, accelerating, really innocuous. Yeah. Um, that's not, that's normally a sign of uh, a weakness in the, in the hamstring, um, which isn't, isn't ideal. So I've got, I know I've got a month of working to try and remedy, remedy that um, yeah. and, and improve and yeah, really hope that, um, I can get on top of that for this next period because look how good the team's yeah. team's going. Um, I uh, work my bum off to be a part of that and contribute to yeah. how good that can be, and that's that's where you want to be. Yeah. But it feels always at its worst point right now. Yeah, of um, course. When you can kind of sometimes it walk with a bit of a limp or it doesn't feel great. Yeah, yeah. It's well, it's hard. It feels a long way off, I mean, even though it's only four weeks away. One of my shrinks would talk about athletes when they're incapacitated so you're out of your body and then you're just in your mind and that's not always the best place for athletes to be we're we're used to being in the 
body, the physicality yep. of how do I feel, how does this feel. Mm. So when that's taken away and you're purely just in your own thoughts mm. and, you know, you're as susceptible to some overthinking. <laughs> <laughs> might be a bit of a deep thinker. Um, but but try and keep everything yeah. in, in context. Yeah. Like so, um, it's, it's happened before. I've gotten and through I've, it, yeah. I've gotten through it um, and it's just, you know, hopefully it's as innocuous as just another one of those and yeah. – Back in well, for you're, the back you're, end of the year and yeah. contribute in a big way. And well, we, you're in good form, mate. It was, um, you know, we were loving watching you play and, you know, part of that defensive unit. So just let's walk on the sunny side of the street. So there is plenty of time left in this season hmm. and the boys are humming. This is a, you know, this is a football team that's not surviving, it's th- it's thriving and yeah. that's kind of what you're always aiming for. And it, it um, over a long career, it kind of... That thriving can only you know, and it yeah. happens for sort of bursts. So for sure. And um, can I just add in there, like we've been a part of of, of good teams and we've had good runs before, and, and ex- some shit ones, <laughs> and some, some not so good ones. But um, the exciting thing at the moment is, yes, we're getting the outcome and the great results at the moment. But you always talk about the the vibe factor and yeah. how it feels. Like it feels as yeah, it feels um, as tight as it's ever been. Like guys are going out of their way to. Um, help other guys on the field um, and that's yeah. from, from top down so Bonte will sacrifice his game he'll block he'll, he'll tap and knock yeah. on and if you're captain and sets the scene that way and it's just yeah. it's kind of spreading like wildfire at the moment so everyone's really committed to just whatever's best any and- great footy season has significant interstate wins um, uh, and wins against contenders and that that's what yeah. was missing from the bulldog season last year i felt like was, yep. you know when we came up against the the top heavyweights we were just we were just fell short yeah how significant was it do you think for well, the it's group exactly to what you, you just said like um they're a fantastic team and you know it's how hard it is to go over there yeah and win so it's um, still as hostile as it's always been oh, over absolutely. there did you see the uh oh. this mouthful of jordan sweet was getting from yeah. the bench there <laughs> When he had his um, set shot for goal. Um, so you always get some nice feedback yeah. uh, if you are close enough to the boundary line. But if you're not, it's just a it's just a roar that you can hear, particularly if they get their yeah. tails up, which I think they kicked five in a row in that yeah. second quarter and, geez, they were loud. Um, I mean, that was the thing that stood out for me was, um, I mean, incredible effort to jump them at, at home. But then for them to get on a run to get back, I'm not sure if they got their nose in front, or, but it was, you know, Back yep. game on, and then to kick again was that uh, was pretty exciting. And talking of exciting, can we just spend a moment, or even a couple of minutes, however long you You're want to? I think we can. So that's what on, we're going to do yeah, for this next. on on Cody Waitman. Oh, the flea! Yes, because, is his, is his we, we, flea. Is he, he jumps like a you know like a flea, I guess. Well, and it's Dale Waitman <laughs> was the name flea. That's why we'd be called the flea. Who's Jesus. that? Oh my god! <laughs> so disappointing. <laughs> We'll have to take that offline. <laughs> have to give you another Genuine. little, no, little idea. no idea, Dale. No idea. Okay, Dale Waitman, the flea Waitman. One of Sorry, the Dale, time, if you're listening. One of the all-time great Tigers and Victorian footballs from the Mildura Sunraiser area. Flea, good fella. Um, da, uh, Dale Waitman. Cody Waitman, he plays, to my eye, with a rare sense of just pure joy. Couldn't have described it better. He's the kid that he, would. He loves footy so much. He would wear his footy boots at home on the carpet. Like uh, yeah. he is getting up in the morning and chucking his footy boots on to wear them all day. Um, and it's just that unbridled joy is just it's just awesome and infectious to be around. I always felt like this for, for many league footballers. There was the three stages you had to go through to become uh, a, a, a good league footballer of. So you get drafted with a youthful talent. You've got, you've got yep. you, there's this lump of talent. You just want that's to show. Yeah. yeah, that's that's where you start. Yep. Get drafted. Then you've got to add to that the human battleship. So your brain is split in two. You know, in a metaphorical sense, of now there's a responsibility when the game stops and the battle. The, the human structure. battleships, yep. the structure of the game, yep. the stuff that for some people is exciting, for other people it's ball aching, achingly <laughs> dull. But y- y- you yep. have to marry those two up. And then w- that can take a while. Mm-hmm. Then once that's married, then you get to play like you're a little kid again. I feel like he's skipped <laughs> all of it. He's just got, yeah, I mean, yep. now I've worked out how to, I've rationalised all the structural process-driven stuff yep. of... Uh, AFL footy, professional footy, and then he's just he still plays like 
I see the ten year old. Mm. It's like, oh wow, look at that! You get to it's see so him as a little see, kid. And it's so good to see it too. But I will, I will say for Codes, what I've been super impressed with, he has worked so hard since he got here. I'm glad you um, say that because you have to. You, you can't. Not, you, can, you, you don't come no in option. as the talent and then just get to play no. like you're a little kid. It's like, no, 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 that's not yeah. how it works. You do have to put the work in. Yeah, and you you exp- uh, explained and um, left. What was it? Splitting down the middle of the battleship yeah. stuff. Um, he has come in as a very you know, as most guys with talent come in at 18 as one of the best players in their team yeah. and it just comes naturally. You just play and you play yeah. well. Whereas coming in as a forward, you know how complex it is. Um, it's probably one of the hardest positions, if probably the hardest position to play on the ground yeah. as a forward because Apart there are the so many flank, yeah. <laughs> there are so many responsibilities and you have to be so switched on. And he's really applied and work away with his craft at VFL level and has really narrowed his focus really well on what it's going to take for him to have yeah. a, a serious impact at um, at AFL level. And he's so, been working so yeah, you right. should, if you've if you've had a chance, there was some fabulous stuff of his defensive pressure that he's built yeah. throughout his VFL form to get him an, an opportunity to to come in so at with AFL the hum- level. I mean we'll have to get him on the podcast some stage but the human it. battleships stuff you know the balance of yeah. footy did does that come naturally to him or has he had to put in extra yards with all I, that sort of thing I think that wouldn't have uh, um, I'm not entirely certain, but I, I've seen real growth in that area from him of yep. understanding where he needs to position as a forward, how he can yep. be relevant, and what what's happening when we don't have the ball, yep. and how he can have impact in Good that area. Him. That's impr- um, that's really impressive. I mean, I, just, I know he's only played three games, but it, he he just does things where you're like, oh god, this mm. kid can seriously play. Yeah, and he's going to be hard. It for, makes me happy. Yeah, that's a great way to put it. Yeah, he's going to be so hard to deep, play on because he's. That's my um, deep analysis. <laughs> He makes me happy. But yeah. I think that's how he does exciting. He plays, he plays in the air, he plays on the ground, and he plays with speed. He recognises the moment. Correct, yeah. So, yeah, it's awesome. I'm really happy for him. Oh, that's so good. Um, oh, the uh, the training jumpers, was it last week? So oh, that, the old the, school. The, the old the school. Throwback. Yeah. So I, I, I take it it was an homage to um, at my radio show with Andy Marr of Footy Jumper Friday. Was oh. that... Part of the inspiration? Uh, or? Uh, I noticed geez. it was on a Wednesday. I haven't listened to their spe- specific fun. show, so I'm not entirely certain. Sound like my mum. <laughs> <laughs> Tell Didn't my mum. just find out you were doing <laughs> yeah, a show? <laughs> she still thinks you play. How long has she been doing that? Yeah. You've been doing it for three years. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> Thanks, mum. How are the boys going? I don't know. <laughs> I, get to see to, I get to speak to Easton. <laughs> <laughs> and one of the other ones are Fortnite. Um, yeah, tell us about the old the old jumpers. What was yeah, the uh, thought, Mitchie, thought behind Mitchie Wall's that? idea? Um, just a, a matter of keeping things fresh and a way to maybe get to know the boys a little bit better. See what um, see their old uh, old stomping ground. What they were rolling around. What in. What were you rolling around in? Around in the Camperdown Magpies um, jersey. Yeah, the black and white. Yeah. Yeah. What do you mean? It, yeah. No, it was no, ex- it, like. For the jumpers that uh, were, I thought you were having other, a go. Well, no, because it was, you know, for, for <laughs> well, sorry, you just conditioned me to normally. That no, tone I like, is. I love the whole, the you know, the philosophy behind it. But I, I along with a lot of bulldog supporters, you and a Collingwood jumper was like, <laughs> then Bont was in a bombers jumper. <laughs> 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 so I was like, I had to process. Oh! Yeah, it is a bit like, oh no, it's yeah. like, oh. Yeah, I sort of um, shake it off a little bit. But no, it was great. We got to go around, um, and everybody said where they played. Uh, you know, what's the jersey where, we, where they were from? And um, it was it was good fun. It was it's just nice, as you know. Seasons can um, go on for a while, so it's nice to keep yeah. things fresh yeah, the, and the enjoy routine. It. Yeah, for sure. And the it was grind just an exciting. Is our old teammate old Daniel Gian Syracuse? Yeah, so that was a good way to um, yeah change up the grind. It's an Italian word for Today. routine <laughs> grind, I believe. <laughs> Don't look that up. <laughs> um, uh, okay, well, let's have a little break. Um, you need to wipe away the tears, um, stretch up Laverne and Shirley, and uh, we've got a guest coming up, and I think people are going to be pretty excited to hear from him. Absolutely. It's uh, injured bulldog warrior Josh, Josh Dunkley. Dunkley. Welcome back to the Western Bulldogs podcast, Barkley Street. And just if Eason wasn't bringing the mood down uh, enough, oh, we've got another. Sorry, sorry Bobo. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's meant to be ironic. So you, now you're laughing. Oh. And now we can all sort of feel a bit better. <laughs> We're all uh, injured Bulldog warrior. That's how we introduced you before the break, mm. Josh Dunkley. Josh, welcome to the podcast, first and foremost. But how are you doing? How are you feeling? 
Yeah, good. Thanks, Bobby. Thanks for having me on. Thanks for coming, Woody. Um, I'm feeling okay. Second run today and starting to get some movement back into the into the joint, but it's been a tough road. The first week or so was pretty tough and just getting over that pain barrier was tough in itself. So it's good that I've, I suppose I've already been through it before with my left one, so nice to be able to Pigeon pair. Yeah. Nice to yeah, both sides. Feel, even, even up now, a bit of balance. Yeah, it is. It is. Oh, we might take both shoulders now. You yeah. never know. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Just the old juddy style. <laughs> Shoulder pads. <laughs> okay. How, how did the operation go? Um, the, anyone that's had a shoulder, I've never had one, but Eason, you've mm. had a Worst couple. Thing in the it's so painful. They, they reckon it's really uncomfortable. You don't yeah. realise yeah. how much you use the movement in your shoulder until it hurts uh, to move it even a millimetre. Mm. Or you take people after, through what it's, what it's like? Yeah, well, straight after surgery, like, they put an arm block in um, and you can't feel your fingers. So straight away you feel pretty good <laughs> after surgery. Got like, free. I remember my first, shoulder, my first shoulder, I got up, had a shower. I actually went home and then the arm block wore off and I was just in tears. Yeah, right. Like, just And I was crying. My mum was there, lucky, like, I was ringing Zimmer. I was ringing the docs. That's everything. That's interesting because a lot of off. people think of you as quite tough, but just to hear yeah, you nah. like, suck up <laughs> <by> <laughs> that. This is probably my, <laughs> my downfall <laughs> after that surgery. <laughs> so this time I was a little bit the opposite. <laughs> cheap shot. <laughs> I was a bit opposite this time. I um, stayed in hospital a bit longer. and You knew. Yeah. 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 So right. I was prepared for it. Yeah. And, um, yeah, it was probably the first five days that really, really sucked. And then after that it was started to sort of come back. Because you can't, you can't sleep. Yeah. You can't get in a comfortable position. Putting your shoes on or socks, socks not possible. Horrendous. Shower, oh, like, how do you socks. shower? Shower one hand, you can't move your arm. So this arm, like they shave your armpit before surgery. <laughs> it's, it's so gross. <laughs> they shave your armpit. So like it's just sweat and stuff builds up when you're in a sling because you can't, you're just in the Literally sling 24-7. Move. So you just sit there and, yeah, just sweat just drips down and oh, doing heat bikes God's and stuff. Now. It's just, just up. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's nasty. And then you've got to clean it. You can only lean forward just a very little bit and then you get your um, other hand geez, under there. It's just un- this, like, does spiky. Un- does that un- yeah, gross? Does that unleash like, the oh, demons? Oh, oh just, yeah. <sighs> just roll the cave door over. Well, actually, my, my, first, my first shower after I had my shoulder done, um, I turned the shower on hot and I got in there and obviously all the um, – the painkillers and stuff, and then the steam hit me, and I was on the floor. I woke oh, up on the floor of the shower. Went in for a shoulder. Came out with no courage. <laughs> <laughs> did not deal with it very well. Yeah. So oh. tell us about. I mean, I don't want to, you know, necessarily, you know, dig into these painful memories for you, but we're all watching. You know, the the night it happened, mm. we see you go in. What happens when you go in? So you obviously popped it. Take you know us through away. The, the, the stages yeah. of it. So you knew straight away what, what you'd done? Yeah, because I'd done the other one yeah. before. Uh, but as soon as it goes back in, it's crazy to... Who puts it back in? Zimmer. Zimmer put it back and in. And how, like, can you, if... I'll yeah, well, they pretty much, like... Stretch your arm so out. So pull it out, and yeah. then they lift it over your head, and then it just slides back in. So pull it out, sort of out of its socket yeah, a bit. Yeah, because it's already out of the joint. That so then sounds they, like they fun. Sort of like that's step one, guys, this thing. <laughs> so pull it out, pull your shoulder that's in <laughs> Lift enormous it over pain, head. pull it out of its socket. Huh, check one. <laughs> Up over your over head. Yeah. And then it just like slides and back then, in. And is there relief? Yeah, yeah instant relief. Oh, so like straight away. Good, I'm like, like, is it like? I'm oh. feeling really good. It's like I'm wow. testing it and stuff. I'm like, I'm good to go. And then I actually did a few shoulder tests. That's why I went back out on the ground because I did some shoulder tests and it was fine. And then went for the spoil and yeah. just popped That's out again. Fine. Yep. And it popped out again? Yep. The second time... Did you just do it yourself? So it's like, all right, guys, I got nah, this. I got this. <laughs> just out and put one. <laughs> the second time, like, just it, when it was out, it probably hurt a little bit more because of the, the shock sort of set in. And, oh, yeah. Well, initially, I reckon the shock was there. But yep. the second time after doing it twice, it was, yeah... And then I went back down and I knew straight away. I knew after the first one I'd probably have to get surgery based yeah, okay. on the other shoulder. So I was pretty disappointed after that. And how yeah. I can imagine we Absolutely. were all shattered for you, man. It was on such a you know, such a good night for the footy club. It mm. was soured by by some serious injuries. Mm. Um, how far down the path do you look in terms of recovery? Do you, are you someone that likes to know the exact plan and end point and when you could be back playing or do you just go, you know what? Let's just play yeah. it as it comes. Yeah, it's a good question. I thank you. Last time, <laughs> last time I I looked ahead, like I was looking. All yep. right, I'm going to be back around twenty or whatever it is. Yep, and, yep, yep. Uh, I reckon that sort of hurt me a little bit, like mentally, yep. physically. Drain. Yeah, because you're too like, far away. Yeah, exactly. So now I'm just taking it day by day, coming in, listening to the physios, 
listening to my body as well and just doing everything I can to to get back or yeah. get better the next day and then come in again and repeat. Mm. So I don't want to look too far ahead. But yeah. yeah. Nice to be back running. Yeah, it's very good. Like it's just, I don't know. You're people, moving way faster than I was expecting today. <laughs> people, we ran together people for hate those running, out there. And I just like, it's weird because I just love it. So, You're flying yeah. past me. I was, um yeah. What sort of <laughs> gait have you got going? You're sort of a bit... Is it a bit of, you know, uh, the bad guy in The Fugitive with the prosthetic? Is it a bit... The first Have like, you seen The Fugitive? No. Nah, you know what he's talking no, about? Oh references, mate. You've got you to know this. You need to paint the picture I, a little bit more, Do Bobby? I have to paint the references do, or do you guys have to, like, <laughs> Because it's only worthwhile if we know what you're to, talking about. Maybe you, you did got, the polite thing and just ignored it. Yeah. Maybe you guys yeah, could just like, venture past the Marvel Universe just for I five minutes. I've watched The Fugitive. I love, I love Harrison Ford. Just, well, see, so you have should... Have you watched the first one? Did you know it's a remake? I didn't. Here we go. Right. Now I'm teaching you. Now you go back. <laughs> no, I haven't. And we'll edit this I out. I could have just made that up. Really hurts actually. my reputation <laughs> as a culture vulture. <laughs> or we digress. Yeah, we do digress. I actually forgot um, where we were. Yeah, so we're back right. to the question. Yeah. The, uh, That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for joining us on yeah. Barkley Street, Josh, yeah. while we argue amongst ourselves. Um, no, I'm pretty good. Like in the morning, it's stiff. Like it always way, like what he said, it's mm. just shocking to sleep. So in yeah. the morning, you wake up every morning to the whole joint stiff. So my first stride, I'm just like struggling. But then by the end, I'm actually really Same freed up. Yeah. So that's what you want to get through. But it's not pain to get through that. It's just stiffness. Yeah. So and what good. are you like as a uh, spectator? How do you find? I mean, obviously, it's not ideal to be watching footy. But, you know, mm. you went over to Adelaide on the weekend to see the boys. How do, do you... Do you find yourself filling a role or are you just there as a professional cheerleader? Uh, a little bit of both I felt on the weekend. like yep. I was there to support the boys but and be involved a little bit too, but I sat in the coach's box and that was pretty cool. Oh, that was my Have second time. Have you done time. that before? Second, second time. time. Second. Yeah. So that was good to be able to hear and see what the coaches think and they were asking me questions about the midfield and how we were looking and stuff like that. So it was nice to be actually not involved. Did you in have it. the answers? Yeah, I had a few. Yeah, Did you? yeah. I wasn't as Didn't emotional as the pressure. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I wasn't as emotional as some, but first? yeah. <laughs> I just reckon we need to get balanced around this topic. <laughs> yeah, so it was good. I actually really enjoyed it going over there and being a part of the yeah, the whole sure. thing. Was it was it uh, helpful to you to get a different perspective, like look at it through the coach's lens? Do you feel like it had changed you as a player when you come yeah. back? Yeah, well, I thought the first time I went in there it definitely changed my yeah. mindset and that out on the field because you make a mistake on the field and the coaches obviously see it too, but how quickly they move on yeah. is so good to know as a player, mm. I reckon, because you're not going to dwell on that mistake. You're just on to the next one. So yeah. You probably become more aware of moments yeah. within the game too. Like there are certain the mistakes that effect, just yeah. don't end up kind of – Affecting anything, 100%. but it, it could be something as simple as not taking the ball over the boundary line, and then all There's of a, a sudden, goal whoosh, whoosh, and then it's a goal scored, and you kind of get a, a grasp of an understanding of how um, important those moments are, and yeah, you know, what gets the coach uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. animated what, at times. Yeah, um, I don't want to know detail. I mean, I, obviously, I do, but I know you you don't want to divulge tactics and leading patterns and. <laughs> how we leave stoppage and all that sort of thing. But I just want to know, <laughs> does Bevo still use the word pox at any point? <laughs> did, oh, you ever, did you ever? I've did you heard pox. Yeah, I don't reckon he I has. I remember being in there, well, because I was in there for like ages. <laughs> <laughs> it was often if an umpire, oh, that's pox. And I was <laughs> pox even, like, pox is in is chicken a, pox? Uh, I don't know the the origins of pox. I don't, it's, just, <laughs> it's just not, I think it's something like that, but pox is like something Sounds like that's, a polite insult. Yeah, it's kind of a yep. bit like a gentle, like, that's yeah. not great. <laughs> That's, That's crap. a pox. But yeah. I was like, pox, because pox was a thing when I was a kid. And okay. I hadn't heard it for 20 years. And I was like, oh, that's pox. And I was like, <laughs> trying to bring it back. <laughs> yeah, that's hard. No, I'm bringing it back. Yeah. No, I'm I didn't hear him say that on the weekend, Bobby. So, what are you doing to keep yourself occupied other than rehab? Because people, you know, might not realise, but rehab probably keeps you busier than, than guys mm, who, are, who are in uh, out on the field. Have you got time to do other things or are you just sort Still of cooking solely up a storm focused? or is it your fry yeah. pot? Your fry pot it hand? is my dominant hand, oh. so I can't. Do, Can a you do the flip oh. with the left? Yeah, no, I can't. No, nah. <laughs> I haven't tried on? it yet. But <laughs> but everything like kitchen, like cooking and stuff, it's just so hard. Like if I cook, I cooked dinner last night. It took me two hours to make just one handed. What were you making? Jeez. Just like a, I just made like a stir fry because you got to cut up the veggies and. Ah, uh, yeah, of course. It's a bit of a nightmare. But oh, we need to come up with some uh, recipes for one handed recipes. Don't worry about one handed recipes. Yeah, one handed. Don't worry about these four recipe. <laughs> 
you know, four ingredient recipes, send us in to Barclay Street, hashtag yeah. Barclay Street. <laughs> One-handed recipes for Josh Dunkley. You don't think that's I'll a good idea? Use that. I, I, I I'll actually use that. I can't imagine the, I'm the trying tweets to help the fella. flooding in. But look, if you've got a one-handed, one-handed <laughs> recipes, <laughs> I wonder what that would look like. I actually, <laughs> what would it be like? Oh. I don't know. Because you got to cut one-handed. You got to do everything one-handed. Slow, a slow cooker. Yeah, but the ingredients that go in there, you have got to cut. Good point. <laughs> <laughs> mm, okay. Well, uh, we'll get back to that. Um, <laughs> We've got some fan questions. Um, actually, maybe we start with those. Ethan, you we run through the, the fan, fan questions. questions, and then we'll rattle through. We've got we've got a couple of stock questions we ask mm. every guest, and today you're the um, you're the inaugural uh, new segment question. Okay, and which I think you'll be really excited about. We're very excited like it. about it, but we'll do the fan questions first because the fans are, are paramount. Right They're the most fan, important. Fantastic They're questions. the most important uh, member of this podcast. Ethan. Yeah. We've got a good one from Jared here. He's written in and asked if you were an NBA player. No, sorry. <laughs> if you were to compare yourself to an NBA player, who would it be and why? Oh, jeez, oh, that's Who's a your great NBA question. comparison. Uh, do you someone that works does all the dirty work? Yeah, oh. yeah, you could. You could. Uh, so I was going to say like a dream on green, I was but thinking he's too much trash he's talk. Bit, he's yeah, yeah, I'm not like that. It's not, I was sort of, it's sort of, yeah, it's not not Real him, bright. but it's like I'm probably better at nineties basketball. You got a nineties basketball? I'm for trying it? to think. For... That's a good question. Mm-hmm. That's a great question. Who would I compare myself to? Oh, it's like sort of Joe Dumas, Dumas, the Pistons kind of thing. Good. Have a think about it. Yeah, like that's, that's a, a, if a good I think of it, I'll, we, can, yeah. we can come back to that. We yep. can we can go to the next question. It might be from someone you've heard of, Adam Trelaw. He's, he's, <laughs> he's texted in, um, <laughs> who's stronger in the gym between you <laughs> and why? I feel like he's setting himself up for something. Yeah, yeah he's obviously setting himself <laughs> up for success here. Um, <laughs> but he hasn't had shoulder surgery, uh, and now I've had two, so. Oh, it certainly helps. I might have to get the double block out, and then I'll he's beat really him. He's really hit you on a low. He's really. Yeah, he's got me there. Hit you down there, down there, hasn't he? Which is. Which is interesting for the bromance there. You it know, is. Thought it is. It would be more positive. I've got something on him if you want to hear anything. Yes, yeah. please. you want to hear something on him? Yeah. Just an oh, interesting yes. one oh, lately. Got lovers uh, tear for it and all over. <laughs> saunas. You did do a sauna. Done yeah. a sauna before. Yeah. Did you ever get in fully clothed? Uh, fully clothed in a sauna, Like nah. as in trackies? Like, would you wear trackies uh, in what? a sauna? <laughs> well, this bloke, no. Adzi, sent me a snap the other day, yep. Trackies in the sauna. Trackies like, in the sauna? Yeah. Yeah. How much sweat is enough? That's so, just disgusting. Oh, that's a little hit back cla- at him. <laughs> little hit back at him. That's making me feel claustrophobic. <laughs> I'm getting all hot under the collar tracking. now just thinking Absolute. of it. Absolutely. That's, that's a no from me. Yeah. <laughs> Isn't the uniform for saunas just or towel, shorts? legs akimbo? <laughs> <laughs> well, depends. <laughs> who's any, home. Depends who's home. Or. Akimbo. <laughs> <laughs> any, any sauna I've been in, that's what all the old dudes are doing. Yeah. Just. Well, Scantily clad towel and as well as airflow important. <laughs> oh, <laughs> track yeah, is really just getting maximum value that of the heat. So, I was, I thought, you know, track. We used to call Jacko McRae trackies, but yeah. trackies Trelaw maybe. Track- trackies oh, Trelaw. Like the alliteration. Yeah, can, the yeah. Yep, no, nice. He didn't really have a nickname, did he? <laughs> Who? Adam Trelaw. I thought he was something Jacko. Nah. No, it's well, he's got Trelaw. one now. Yeah, okay. trackies, trackies right. Trelaw. There you go. What's next there? Old, We've got uh, in from Nicole. How do you feel? I suppose Bob touched on this a bit, but how do you feel watching the boys from the sidelines? Yeah, it's tough. I think to be sitting there not being able to do anything. Like the first game that I was out was the Richmond game and watching that on TV was pretty hard. But then the next two, obviously two wins. So And on the weekend was an even better win. So mm. great that um, the boys are playing really good footy and, I've just looked at it as, you know, the guys that were playing VFL really well, good form. They've got the opportunity now to, have, yeah. to come in and, um, yeah, replace us, mate, and and play some good footy for the team, which is good. Good stuff. And our last one we've got in from Athena. Um, a lot's been said about, obviously, yours and Ad's bromance, but she wants to know, is there, are there any others at the club? Is there another bromance? Yeah. Oh, and like another. Yeah, aside from you and Ad's, who's next? Another bromance. Who's the next pair? <laughs> oh, oh, is in? Is there another? Is yeah, there another, another pair, pair? Not another. Um, no, correct. <laughs> Almost said love interest. Jeez, <laughs> 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 uh, <laughs> they're probably. Oh, I like Jacko and um, Toby. Yeah. 
But then Louis Young slips in there every <laughs> now and then, and there's a few oh, others. A uh, yeah, bit of a triangle. What do you reckon? Yeah, I was at him say, like Jacko and Sweetie. Oh, yeah. Sweetie's absolutely in oh, Jacko's yeah. pocket at the moment. <laughs> True. And Sweetie's first Always goal, Jacko was first on the yeah, scene. Yeah. Like, Jacko never top. celebrates he a goal, does he? <laughs> he celebrates with Sweetie. It's so confusing. Jacko being involved in a couple of bromances. And yeah. I never thought he liked Time's anyone. Times change, mate. Times change. <laughs> <laughs> really, he's kind of unsettling. <laughs> it's definitely them coming to him. Yeah. <laughs> he's not going out of his way. Yeah. Um, is that? Is that? That's that's all. That's it. It's, oh, just it's a quick one for me. What the beard? Mm. I'm it's, I'm impressed by it. Is we're going to keep this going? Yeah. Yeah, it's a bit of a rehab one. Oh, I Bobby. like it. Yeah. Are you going to let it just go? Just go until. Oh, I'll probably. When I get a haircut. I'd do it. No, I think I'll, just let it go yeah. a while. Forest Gump style. I wouldn't mind it being the same length. Like, Is this as long as you've had it? Yeah, probably. I reckon as yeah. long as I've seen you have it. It'll be yeah. interesting to see what you can get it to. Yeah, I'll keep playing with yeah. it and I see like how we it. go. I think it's something to roll with. All right, so our, we've got two stock questions and then we've got a new one. Yep. Because we've, we've we've turfed one. Just to, you know, stay fresh. Just, that's it. You've got to keep it fresh for the kids. I don't know about We're hip, thinking, but... Are we not hip? No. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's all about aspirational. Um, know thyself. What was the scariest movie you watched as a kid? What movie terrified you? Oh, anything to do with witches. Oh. Witches. So, um, the movie Witches would have... Yeah, yeah, that was Sabrina. one. Sabrina, did that get you? Yeah. Oh, I can't remember <laughs> what, was, what was it called? The, the Brick think. Road. What was that one called with the witch? Wizard of Oz. Wizard of Oz. That got me. I was oh, scared yeah. of that witch. The original one? Yep. Like the... Yep. There you go. Yeah. Yeah, I get that. But anything to do with witches just got me big and time. And are they still a bit like... <laughs> can, uh, you not, Harry, can you get through Harry Potter now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can get through Harry Potter. I can get through that. <laughs> Have you seen the witch in Robin Hood, Prince of Thieves? No. <sighs> Terrifying. <laughs> still. Haven't seen that But if I saw, like, you know, that one witch on movies and stuff, they just... Yeah, I don't really like them. Anything yeah, to do with a witch, yeah. Yeah. That's interesting. Mm. It's funny. You know when uh, David Bowie died? Mm. Have you ever seen The Labyrinth? No. So he's in that, and, yeah. it's a, and that it was a traumatizing movie for me as a kid. And when he died, they kept showing his character, and it was like, Flashbacks. oh, I just had like, oh, I don't feel good now. <laughs> <laughs> Got to go. It's amazing how it sticks with yeah, that it feeling. Was real, it can and be I, instantly. It's like, I don't want to watch that. I don't I feel te- good. It was a Texas Chainsaw Massacre for me, and there's a scene where they run <laughs> also through bed sheets hanging along the um, clothesline, and they can't see, and then the chainsaw comes out of nowhere. So bed sheets on the line. And chainsaws, obviously. Yeah, right. <laughs> At least with that movie, I mean, you get a bit of a heads up. Well, What are we going to see? Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Is it a rom-com? <laughs> <laughs> all those typical ones. That got, I got sucked into seeing all the boys. Like, the mates were seeing it. Yeah. Older brother. So, like, where we're are you in this. the sibling setup again? Uh, I've got uh, second. Yeah, so Older I was brother. the younger. So, I was exposed to things Lazy. that were just I not probably appropriate. probably would have been 13. No, not even not nearly appropriate. I had not just, <laughs> some of the stuff I remember, I remember not being able to go, go to sleep because I shut my eyes and but don't think about it. Don't think about it. <laughs> I can see it's it worse. It's so when worse. I shut my eyes, it's worse. <laughs> yeah. um, uh, our second stock question, Josh. You would have watched the uh, documentary, The Last Dance. Don't need to go into that detail. But if we remove Michael Jordan, if we remove his anus, which character were you kind of most intrigued by? You wanted to sort of know more about. Scotty Pippen. Oh, oh, we've got a different answer. My bro. man. We've been going for this My for a while. man. So can you sort of flesh that out for me a bit? In, what was it about Scotty Pippen that you kind of uh, found interesting? I just liked his character and I wouldn't, yeah, I wouldn't I wouldn't mind sort of diving into it a little bit more. Yeah, okay. and even getting to know him would be pretty cool, yeah. I reckon. Do you feel like he was a bit dudded in the documentary? Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, that's what annoyed me. With the way it was all presented as it well, definitely didn't paint him in the positive yeah. light that he probably I, would have expected. I don't expected. think he was. I don't think he was happy yeah. about it. Yeah, that's what I heard. So, reading up on it and stuff, interesting. It was, yeah, that would be interesting to get his perspective. What about that part where he he sits and refuses to go back out? Oh yeah, I could not believe that. Yeah, that was fascinating. Mm. Yeah, that's quite a quite a big moment, isn't it? And the reg- he didn't. I was about to say and the regret that he had, but he didn't. He said he'd do it again. <laughs> like, oh, Scotty! <laughs> yeah. But I was. In- I found him really interesting as well. And yeah. What a player! What a, yeah. Oh, I'm glad what a partner for for MJ. I'm glad we got a bit of variety. Excellent. Uh, and our third question. Do you yeah, want to ask this question? question? Do you I want do. to just I set, do. Do you know, set we the have, scene? We have mentioned Archie before, but just set the so Archie Salek, an absolute stalwart of a football club. I've been here for 14 years, and I'm still not sure what Archie's role is. Now he's well. He's been here for about thirty-five, I think. <laughs> he and his role um, is um, he, malleable. Yeah, very much so. Um, but a funny, funny man in 
it takes a long time to realise that he's funny. <laughs> I think it's it's sort of <laughs> it's it wears you down. Gut, yeah, <laughs> it's by yeah. sheer repetition and it's, commitment. It's like a dripping tap. Um, so Arch is Arch has uh, this unique talent where he's given every single player a nickname. Yeah, and. Um, would you say some are what's like, the quality? Some are How would you so rate? obvious <laughs> and some are so unusual, that but they all kind of but the, are he, in the he, same. He commits to it, and if he sees you, he screams. That's the first thing that yeah. he, that's he says. Yeah, all he says. Yeah, yeah. That's, and it's like to start the conversation, he just uses that nickname. Bang. That's what he's got. So, <laughs> so I'm I'm Western. You're Western. I'm so Western I'm, Eastern. I'm Dan. Dan Murphy's. Dan Murphy's. And it's great if you ever ask him why. He's like, oh, Dan. Y- yeah. And As then he'll pause and wait for you to fill it in to then go, well. Why, why, why Dan Arch? <laughs> oh, Dan Murphy's. Anyway, the question is going to be for uh, all our guests coming on, what is Archie's nickname for you? So mine's probably one of the worst, I reckon. <laughs> <laughs> he just got my first number and, yeah, called me 20. <laughs> <laughs> and then ever since then, he just ran with it. <laughs> so you've got him on a bad day. He wasn't feeling particularly creative. <laughs> or he couldn't. It- he is it his find worst? To rhyme with I Dunkley? actually don't know if it's his worst or his best. <laughs> twenty. <laughs> he actually, to your face, calls you twenty. Yep. Twenty. He told me get out there today. He's like, I was running laps. He's like, good on your twenty. <laughs> <laughs> it's the sheer commitment. Yeah. Uh, like you've even gone through a number change, and he's still. Well, see, Richo could be mistaken for twenty now. Could, true. So. Oh wow. It's so, like, yeah. So, well, not his most creative, but <laughs> for for loyal Barclay Street listeners, we are going to get Archie Selleck on the podcast at some stage. It'll be fabulous. But be great. A lesser podcast would get him on straight away. But <laughs> we're going to we're going to build. That's so it. every player we get in, we're going to try and dig in. So you're going to get a picture. You're going to get a sense of this <laughs> um, this eccentric man. The man, a man that we absolutely love to death. Absolutely, to death. He's very special to the spirit of he this is. place and this footy team and this footy club. Uh, Archie Salek, but a bloke who's very special to this footy team and footy club is you, Josh Dunkley. Um, mm-hmm. We can't wait to see you back out there, and we're riding the uh, rehab train with you. Thanks, guys. Thanks All the best, man. It. Keep that armpit down, though. It's a bit. Yeah, it's a bit smelly, probably. <laughs> it's, a bit, <laughs> it's a little bit toxic. <laughs> see you, mate. Good luck. Thank you.